used to call me Spangle. <laughs> and I don't know what a Spangle is to this day and now I can't ask him. <laughs> Spangle. I've become someone who maybe isn't selfish, but also a person that isn't selfless. I am just a selfer. I am selfing. Uh, I had a motorbike accident. I was riding on a gravel road, came round a, a blind corner and there was a four-wheel drive in the middle of the road. It was only a narrow road. My right leg got squashed between the motorbike and the bull bar. Two weeks after the accident, they amputated my right leg. Ollie was a rabbit. He was a mega giant. No, he, he, Flemish was, giant. he was a Flemish giant rabbit. My um, mum took him to the vet. We and never got to say goodbye. We didn't get to bury him in the grave he built himself. <laughs> okay, he did build he himself. He dug his own grave. <laughs> I think he knew that day would come. One of my best friends um, hung herself. Yep, that's what she did. Yep. Mm. Dad was no surprise he'd been sick for a very long time. It was quite a natural thing that he just just deteriorated into heart failure. He was peaceful, it was comfortable. That wasn't so much of a shock. What happened after was that mum went in for a hysterectomy. And seven days later, she went into a coma and passed away in the hospital. I'm sometimes a bit harsh because, you know, someone might say, oh, I've got a sore back. Well, stop your whinging, you know, like, let's get fed in you know, what are you complaining about? Well, Alex did this thing that was called Bunniest Home Video. <laughs> and he put Ollie on the skateboard. Yeah, he was very funny. And I'm um, still game to put that on YouTube. She researched it. There was all this research on her internet when they went through it. She, she researched it. She, like a, like a scientist. It can all go tomorrow, you know? Everything can change in a heartbeat. I really find that a really good cry <laughs> And whether it lasts for half an hour or three days, it recharges you. I think it's a bit like lightning. You know, when lightning moves through the air, it reverses the charges of the atoms and it's a refreshing feeling and I, I relate to that. It was like I was living in a dust bowl and someone just dropped a big mattress on it and the dust just went like this. And it was just like, everything just like, was looking at me. Money is just useless. There's nothing that it can do to compensate. There's nothing that it can do to make you feel better. There's nothing that you can do to bring it back. It just somehow seems less important to me now. I, I care less for possessions. Relationships matter more. We were standing there with um, the physio. He said, oh, you can run down the breezeway, the long breezeway. What? Down? He said, yeah, off you go. Well, he told me to run, so I ran down and ran back. And he was, he r ran really fast. 180 kilometres per hour. Not that How? 80 kilometres per hour. <laughs> yeah. No, he just ran really fast along the back garden. And I was reading an amputee newsletter uh, in the waiting room. It said um, they were having the Victorian State Games. Oh, OK. There were just times when I physically needed to be held up. It was like my, my anti-gravity muscles weren't working and I would just keep falling, you know. It just kept going and then 88, I went to the Seoul Paralympics. The stadium was chockers. It was, there wasn't a seat anywhere, like it was 100% full. We were obviously being Australia, we were up the front because A for alphabetical order. So we're up the front. The crowd's going ballistic, they were going off. You really did get uh, the hairs on the back of your neck are standing up. If I hadn't lost my legs, my leg, the reality is I wouldn't have represented Australia. When our 
little rabbit died. No one really cared about. They just said, "Oh, pussy." Yeah, that's all. Well, I don't ever remember anyone asking me how I was emotionally. It's emotionally where you fall over. I'm, I don't take things for granted anymore. I don't take the, the little things for granted anymore. I think I try to live in the day, live in the moment. Things aren't as important as they might seem. You know, my heart has opened up more. And really, all these people that saw me in that grief, that was an opportunity for them to see a side of me that they actually didn't know. I think I was learning another level of friendship that I hadn't fully experienced until that point, of receiving. I reckon I've become more patient. You do, because when you have a, a medical thing, you spend a lot of time waiting around in waiting rooms. Should have spent more time with Ollie, but yeah. But we just didn't have the time. And he weed in my room a lot and... And he mm. weed on Dad. He did weed on this couch once. You're sitting right. Ugh.